Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be just a quick video because it's something that I want to talk about because it's something that keeps coming up. Do you need to learn Photoshop to be a photographer or can you just shoot without editing or can you just shoot with your phone and a Lightroom edit, blah, blah, blah. But do you need to, do you need to learn Photoshop to be considered a photographer? No, you don't. Do you need to learn Photoshop? to give your clients the best quality images you can? Yes, I think that you do. So I started out thinking that you just had to take really good photos in camera, and yes, you absolutely do. So way back when, got my first camera, kind of started dabbling around in editing Photoshop. I was only Photoshop for ever until I got Lightroom, but I thought you needed to like edit lightly, maybe just make it black and white, maybe like remove something here and there. And I remember finding out that one of my favorite photographers in the whole wide world like did sky replacements and that blew my mind. I was like, what? I felt lied to. And I feel like a lot of people kind of think that now. They think that everything needs to be perfect in camera. I don't need to know Photoshop because I, oh, I don't need to edit photos that much. And I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. So you definitely don't need to do that. But I am kind of tired of seeing people in photography groups or photography forums taking pictures at a park in front of a parking lot and then asking the internet to remove all of the cars in the parking lot. So I feel like people that are, I do think you need to take the time to learn Photoshop. So yeah, can I even get like the words out that I wanna say? because it's very frustrating. Like on the daily, there's five to 10 posts of, can somebody fix this for me? Can somebody fix this for me? I did this session here, can somebody fix this for me? So my opinion personally is that if you don't know how to do a few basic Photoshop things, like removing something from the background, changing the color of something, fixing something, removing a big old pimple off of somebody's cheek. Like if you don't know how to do the basic of the basic in Photoshop, I don't think you should be taking clients. And I know that some people are gonna disagree with me, but I'm talking basic. I'm not saying you have to be like the know-all in Photoshop. I don't, I use Photoshop for years and I still don't know it all. So I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you should know the basics. And then if at any point, in your head while you're at a shoot, you're saying, I'm not gonna know how to fix this, then move them around or do something, fix it, because you can, You sure. So the answer is sure. You can be a photographer without knowing Photoshop, but you need to think about things while you're shooting more so than somebody that can just, oh, well, this is the best light right here. I'll just get rid of that trash can later. You're gonna have to be like, well, this is the best light. I don't know how to get rid of that trash can, so I'm gonna have to move you anyway. So you don't get the good light, because you don't know how to remove the trash can or you ask the internet to remove the trash can. So again, I think that just basic, basic knowledge of Photoshop. And guess what? YouTube is free. I learned everything that I know from, on Photoshop from YouTube. Shit, I learned most everything I know from Lightroom on YouTube too. So there's so many free things out there. You just have to take the time to do it. And if you're not willing to take the time to do it, if you just want to take photos and you think that's all there is to it, then it's probably not the right thing for you to be doing because there's a lot more to it than that. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> now, if you have any questions about any of this or any experience with this or you completely and utterly disagree with everything I just said, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'll take any comments at this point. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please do so, and I will see you next time. Bye.